it's Dr. Trish Lee with another question and answer about neurofeedback training. Today's question is about electronics. So electronics are everywhere in our world these days. People are on electronics 24-7. So our recommendation if people are engaging in neurofeedback training is to try not to be on electronics on your way in for your session and definitely take a break from electronic use after your session. Hopefully you can stay off your electronics at length at least for up to an hour after your session. Many times we see children in the office that have their neurofeedback session and then wait for another service or something like that so they'll sit in the waiting room and their parents will let them go on electronics and play games directly after their session. That isn't going to harm your training per se, but it certainly isn't going to help your training. And actually in some kids it could make the response to training not as strong. So if you just think about it logically, if your child is in the office, or you, if you're in the office to decrease the amount of slow brain activity and decrease the amount of extra fast brain activity and try to increase the amount of that perfect medium to fast speed that's in the middle, what electronics do is it they overstimulate your brain because they run at 60 hertz. So just your engagement with an electronic is having your brain attuned to a 60 hertz electronic instrument. And if you remember that perfect medium speed is about 10 to 15 hertz. You don't want to sit in front of 60 hertz at length. At the same time, so that'll overstimulate your brain, hyperarousal. At the same time, the longer and longer you are engaged with an electronic, it's also tiring your brain. So not only now are you using too much extra fast speed, you're also fatiguing your brain, which is increasing the use of your slow brain activity. The opposite of what you want to do for your neurofeedback training. So try to use your electronics as sparingly as possible. I know it's difficult in this day and age. And definitely try to stay off of them after your session. If you remember, I always talk about after a session, you want to try to rest your brain. Try to have it just hang out in the status quo so your training can gel. Neurointegration. The best thing to do after a session is to take a rest or just to relax doing nothing. Yes, I just said that, nothing. People ask me all the time, what do you mean nothing? I mean nothing, just sit around. And if you sit around, your brain will kind of gel and a rest is a perfect way to let your brain do that. Okay, so stay off your electronics after your sessions and try to use them sparingly throughout the rest of the day. Hopefully that helps you get the most out of your neurofeedback training. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel below so that you can get lots of great information to control your brain before it controls you.